Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk you through this get ready with me from a recent girls night out with my family in London. This is a really pink glittery and girly look and with this big bouncy hair it is the perfect look for a girls night out or pretty much any kind of outfit. So if you would like to see how I created this look please keep watching. So to start off with I am priming my eyelids using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I already had some makeup on from earlier on that day and I was in a bit of a rush so you will see I'm actually using my fingers quite a lot in this video. So again I am going to do the second part of my priming. I'm going to use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just making sure that's in all of the little creases and areas of my eyes where any eyeshadow will be. I am using this creamy beige matte as a base from the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveller palette and then going over that with a shimmery pink. And then to add a bit of dimension I am using this metallic peach and I am just buffing that in to the contours of my eyes to create the start of my cut crease. And then I'm going in with my favourite colour from this palette and that is the colour Fudge which is kind of a deep muddy brown and that really helps when you want to do any kind of contour on your eye makeup. So I'm just buffing that into the sockets of my eyes and I'm also putting that underneath my lash line. Now using an absolutely clean brush I am just going to buff away into the edges where there is any shadow just to make sure that everything is blended in really really well and that there are no harsh lines. I always use a clean brush to do this because that really helps to buff out any excess. And now I'm going to use this pink champagne and the Mario Badescue, Badescue setting spray to kind of put that into the corners of my eyes. And I'm just patting that all in from the corners out into the middle of my eye. But I don't want it to cover the whole socket as I want some of the cut crease to show through. And then just using a brush I'm just going to clean that up again using that same matte kind of nude colour. And then I am going to add some dimension to my eye makeup by doing a winged liner. I didn't want it to be too dramatic so I've tried to keep it quite thin and fine. So I'm using a small angled brush to really get the precision. And to do this I use the Maybelline Gel Liner. And I'm just evening it out on the other side now. So you will see this isn't my usual dramatic wing, it's very subtle. And then I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil which is like a creamy eyeliner at the bottom of my eyes and then I'm just using some Bobbi Brown Mascara on my lashes. And then I'm using the MAC Vanilla Pigment in the corners of my eyes to really make my eyes pop. But I also added some setting spray and then again used the same pigment into the corners because that is really going to exaggerate the pigment. And that's exactly what I did with the pink champagne as well. Now using my Huda Beauty lashes I am just going to put the glue on the lashes and then leave them to dry. While they're drying I'm going to do the base of my face so I'm just putting on my foundation which is the NARS Sheer Glow in Stramboli and I'm just dabbing that all in using a beauty blender and then sorry my camera didn't really pick up some of these products today but this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and again I'm using my fingers because I was in a bit of a rush so I'm just dabbing that into the usual places where I highlight and this is going to do the same thing as a brush would have done anyway so just dabbing that into the areas and then again I am dabbing that all in using a beauty blender 
I only recently started using my beauty blender this much but you'll see in this video how much I use it for different purposes now and I can't believe it's taken me this long to use it so much. I did use it before but just not this much. And now I am using the MAC um, concealer palette which is a correct and conceal and I'm using that to contour over the areas of my face. And then again, using my beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that all in. <laughs> I looked a bit angry there. I think I was just really trying to get out the product and I'm going to do the same and just apply some product on my nose to contour my nose, again using beauty blender. Now, in this much time, your lashes should, um, well, the glue on your lashes should have dried slightly, but just be enough for you to be able to stick them on. So I am now just placing them and I'm using the end of a brush to just make sure that they're really in place and in line. And now I'm going to do my brows using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I think the shade that I'm using here is Ebony. I'd already had done my eyebrows earlier on that day so I'm just going over them. Because when you've got some dramatic eye makeup sometimes it overpowers your eyebrows so you just need to balance it back out. Now I'm going to use this MAC Baked Bronzer and it has a little bit of shimmer on it but because this was for a night out that was perfect. And then I'm going to use a corally pink blush and then I'm using that MAC Vanilla Pigment again as my highlighter for this look. And then I'm just going to blend it all out with a beauty blender just to make sure that there is no powder pigment and I'm using my MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick which is one of my favorite nudes with my NYX liquid lingerie on top just to make sure that stays all evening and then I am setting my face using the Mario Badescu rose water spray which by the way smells amazing now it's time to go into my hair and to get this kind of big bouncy look, what I first did was curled just the absolute bottoms of my hair. So as you will see, I'm taking sections of my hair, probably a couple of inches at a time, and just rolling my straight straightness inwards 90 degrees, and then just pulling it down to create a curl. I absolutely love my GHDs and the fact that I can do this with it. And then I'm just spraying that with the L'Oreal hairspray. And now I'm using my favourite perfume, which is Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford. And this was the finished look that I created. As you'll see, it's very glittery, pink and girly, and it's absolutely perfect for any girl's night out. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. See you next time.